I swear there has been more worthwhile news in little videos posted after Google I.O.'s main uh, live stream or main presentation than in the actual main presentation itself. And we have another uh, example of that here today. I've written up this article over on shanecraig.tech, but the source of this information is this video right here, which I will be linking in the description down below if you want to check it out yourself. This was posted on the Android Developers YouTube channel, and what they're talking about here is productivity with desktop windowing, windowing and stylus support. In this video, they talk about Android's upcoming desktop mode, and they give some really important details and things that we just didn't really know how it was going to work for sure. And now it seems like we know. At this point, I can't imagine who I will be talking to in this moment. But if you don't know about this whole desktop mode thing, the simplest way that I can demonstrate it to you is with Samsung DeX. Samsung has long had the ability with many of their phones to plug that phone into an external monitor. And then you get this full desktop user interface experience that you can use to basically use your phone as a full desktop. In fact, even using your phone as a trackpad for that secondary monitor or, you know, using a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, maybe a USB-C hub, whatever you need to do, your phone can even do separate things besides what's happening on that other screen, even though your phone is powering it. It's very very cool. And it's something that is now officially going to be coming to Android. Now, before you say it, I know you can go into your developer options and turn on the desktop mode thing that's already there right now, but it is not the same thing. It is barely functional at all. And it's basically only there for developers to play around with. What we're about to be getting and what they're talking about in this presentation is a completed version of this. And so what they said in this video is that Google's take on a desktop UI will be released fully with the stable Android 16 AOSP release. Now, we got to pump the brakes a little bit because I know a lot of you are going to get excited and you're going to think, well, Android 16 is coming in like a couple of weeks, like in, in, in June. It's going to be coming very, very soon. So we're going to get this stuff really soon. Well, not necessarily going to be the case. In fact, it's not going to be the case. So what that means, stable Android 16 AOSP, basically it means they're going to be rolling this UI out to OEMs and people that want to mess around with the Android open source project version of Android. This does not mean that your Pixel is going to be getting this, that your other phone or tablet is going to be getting this, but it is still coming very, very soon. As stated in the video, they said, quote, coming to the beta releases of 2025 Q3 as a developer preview, the desktop windowing experience will be enabled on compatible devices when connected to an external display. So Q3 begins on July the 1st. So it's possible that these features will arrive as later beta builds for the currently ongoing Android 16 QPR1 beta. This is all up in the air, but they are going to be delivering this stuff. They said Q3 of this year, so it is coming. So this is a video for developers primarily, and what they talk about in this video is basically how Android apps going forward need to be adaptive. And what that means is they need to be applications that could work really well on a phone, that could work really well on a tablet, and that could work really well on an interface like this. This is an image directly from their video. And what you can see here is a Pixel 9 Pro Fold and it's plugged into this monitor and the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is doing whatever. It's actually got a notification coming in, but yet you do have this interface over here. It looks like Gmail is running and it looks like Chrome is running. You can move these things around just like you're using Windows or Mac or whatever it is that you use. Now, one thing that I do want to get clarification on, do we have some sort of trackpad capability like Samsung DeX? Because we definitely do need something like this. Otherwise, you're going to have to have a mouse and keyboard, and that would be a little bit frustrating. You can see a cursor right there on their screen. Not exactly sure what's going to happen with that. But you can see, like I've mentioned before, this taskbar down here. You have an app drawer. You have your pinned apps. And then apps that are open that aren't pinned are going to exist sort of after that little line. And then you have some navigation buttons over there on the far right-hand side. But they also do show how this works on a tablet. You guys may be aware that the Pixel tablet actually picked up a desktop interface like this not that long ago. 
applications have a little line at the top of the screen that you can touch and drag down and it switches over to this user interface. If you're already running that desktop UI on your tablet and you plug that into your monitor, what you see here is the ability to actually have these monitors basically be extended. So you're using both as their own independent screen. And in fact, you can see here, they're dragging one window from one screen to the other. If you use dual monitors like I do, I've got a monitor right here in front of me and I've got one over here as well. I can drag a window back and forth between these two. That is exactly what we were talking about. So plugging a phone in gets you sort of your phone plus a desktop interface. Plugging in your tablet might get you your tablet running that interface as your primary monitor, but then also an extended display. That's very cool. They even talk about having the ability to drag different bits of information, drag and drop from one app to another in this interface. So this really is an adaptive experience coming from Android. And I really, really think that that is going to be a huge focus for Google going forward. They really do seem to have a vested interest in having Android be an operating system that just like they want your apps to be, it can transition from phone to tablet to laptop. Rather than having iOS on your phone, iPad OS on your tablet, and Mac OS on your computer, imagine Google's strategy of it just being Android, and it just changes shape to fit whatever it is that you need it to be doing, just like the apps need to be going forward. At any rate, guys, I know we've talked about this stuff a couple of times here lately. We've talked about it about a million times over the last few months, but the light at the end of the tunnel does appear to be getting closer, and I don't think it's a train. I think it's actually something very, very cool that is coming. If you want to check this stuff out in written form and see these images, I will put a link to my article in the description down below. Let me know what you think about all the stuff down there, guys. Do you believe it? Is it actually going to happen for real this time? It's not just going to be this 90% broken thing in developer options that, sure, you can do it, but, man, it's really not a great experience. We're finally going to very soon have the ability to plug our Pixel phones into a monitor. Well, not this one because it doesn't have video out for USB-C, but other ones, other Pixel phones, and have them finally make available to us the full capability of what these incredibly powerful devices in our pockets should be able to do. Very, very exciting stuff, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.